In this video, we will take a look inside the UAV Coach Drone Pilot Ground School course and do a complete UAV Coach review. We're going to get straight into this UAV Coach review and look at what you get when you sign up for the course. The first thing you will notice is that their course is called Drone Pilot Ground School and is the same course offered by Drone Pilot Ground School. UAV Coach is the parent company of Drone Pilot Ground School, so their training is all the same. So now let's take a look at what's included in their training platform and how it will help you to pass the Part 107 exam required by the FAA. The first module you will access once you sign up for the UAV Coach Drone Pilot Ground School is the Welcome Module. This is made up of six lessons. Let's go through each one here. The first lesson is called 5 Quick Start Tips for New Students. This lesson will show you what you should expect from the course. It will give you tips on how to make the most of the training. This lesson says that you should be willing to devote at least 10 to 20 hours of time studying the training. It also states that you should score at least 85% on one of our full-length practice tests before taking the FAA exam. The next lesson is called Download Your Test Supplement. Here you will download the FAA's Airman Knowledge Testing Supplement. You can find sectional chart maps, chart supplements and other charts and data that you'll need as you progress through the course in the Testing Supplement book. Next you will go to the lesson called Meet Your Instructor and Student Support Manager. Here you will learn about Alan Perlman, who's your instructor in the Drone Pilot Ground School UAV Coach course. Calm and Drone Industry Terms is a list of popular industry terminology and abbreviations, which will be new to you during the course and practice questions. You will then see how to get help if you need it, and a way to browse the Drone Pilot Knowledge Base. After you get through the Welcome Module, you will start Module 2, Drone Rules and FAA Regulations. This module is made up of 11 lessons. Let's take a look at each one here. Lesson 1 is the basics of Part 107 Regulations. This lesson will introduce the FAA's Part 107 Regulations, which started on August 29, 2016. Let's take a quick look at what a video looks like from this lesson. In this lecture, we'll be covering some basics of the FAA's Part 107 Regulations, which first went into effect on August 29, 2016. Whenever these regulations are being referenced, you might see them written a few different ways. The formal language... The next lesson is Crew Member Definitions. This lesson will cover crew duties and responsibilities during SUAS flight operations. Next is Registering Your Drone. Learn how to do commercial drone registration and apply the registration to your aircraft. Let's take a quick look at what a video looks like from this lesson. Commercial drone registration is pretty straightforward. If you haven't yet registered your UAS and applied your registration number to your aircraft, you can get that process started over at FAA Drone Zone dot FAA. The next lessons in this module include reporting an accident or in-flight emergency, operating limitations, height, speed, minimum visibility and cloud clearance, FAA compliance, flight logging, inspections and required documents, flying from a moving vehicle, operations over people in moving vehicles, flying visual line of sight, alcohol, drugs and physiology, airspace authorization and waivers. The next module in the UAV Coach Drone Pilot Ground School training is Night Operations Training. This module will focus on lessons that will help you learn the rules as well as best practices for operating a drone at night. The lessons in this module include Understanding the Rules, Night Ops Environment and Best Practices, How Your Eyes Function at Night, Understand These Five Visual Illusions. The next module in the UAV Coach training is called National Airspace System, NAS. This section will discuss the National Airspace System of the United States, NAS. More specifically, you'll go through the various types of airspace that are relevant to drone pilots, as well as a few other particular airspace considerations, before delving deeper into sectional charts and some of the other icons and concepts you'll need to understand. The lessons in this module include Class B Airspace, Class C Airspace, Class D Airspace, Class E Airspace, Class G Airspace, Special Use Airspace, Military Training Routes, MTRs, TFRs and NOTAMs, Let's take a quick look at what a video looks like from the Class B airspace lesson. In these next few lectures, we're going to talk about the United States National Airspace System, or NAS. More specifically, we're going to run through the different classes of airspace that are relevant to drone pilots. The next module of the UAV coach training is reading sectional charts. In this module, you will delve deeper into sectional charts and how to understand them. Here are the lessons you will see in this module. What's a sectional chart? Latitude and longitude, VFR checkpoints, notification boxes, MSL versus AGL, airports and radio frequencies, isogonic lines, maximum elevation figures, Victor Airways, advanced sectional chart interpretation. Let's take a quick look at what a video looks like from the What's a Sectional Chart lesson. 
GEFR sectional chart is like a roadmap for the sky. It shows geographical and man-made obstacles, certain airspace boundaries, and a whole bunch of other important pieces of information in amazing detail. In the last module, we talked a lot about airspace. In this module and over the next few lectures, we're going to dive deeper into sectional charts and how to interpret them. Module 5 is called Airport Operations. Here you will learn all about airport operation including runways and manned aircraft traffic patterns around airports, right-of-way rules in towered and untowered airports. The lessons in this module include reading a chart supplement, runways and traffic patterns, right-of-way, towered versus untowered airports. Module 6 in the UAV Coach Drone Pilot course is called Weather and Micrometeorology. This is made up of eight lessons, which will cover standard conditions and density altitude, wind and currents, moisture, fog, and frost, reading a METAR report, reading a TAF report, operating in extreme weather, clouds, ceilings, and visibility, stable versus unstable air, understanding air masses. Let's take a quick look at what a video looks like from the wind and currents lesson. In this lecture, I want to focus on wind and currents. While wind patterns and the theories of circulation are radiate heat in varying amounts, plowed ground, rocks, sand, and barren land give off a large amount of heat. Water, trees, and other areas of... Another atmospheric hazard exists that can create problems for remote unmanned... Module 7 of the UAV coach training is called Drone Flight Operations and is made up of 13 lessons. This is a very in-depth and detailed section of the Drone Pilot Ground School course. The 13 lessons include Hazardous Flight Operations, Emergency Operations, Lost Link Procedures, LiPo Batteries, Aeronautical Decision Making, ADM, Crew Resource Management, CRM, PAVE, I'm Safe and Decide Models, Hazardous Attitudes, Radio Communications, UAS Loading and Performance, UAS Maintenance and Inspection, Pre-Flight Checklist, Remote Identification, Remote ID. To help you prepare for the Part 107 exam, the UAV Coach course comes with a whole module of five full FAA practice tests and cram sheets. This is Module 8, and it will make sure you're ready to take the Part 107 exam. This module includes five full-length practice tests, cram sheet to see if you're ready to take the test, getting your FAA tracking number, FTN, and booking your exam, test day checklist, using IACRA to apply for your remote pilot certificate, need a certificate of completion, learn how to fly. Module 9 comes with seven bonus lessons, which include basic flight proficiency training, how to conduct airspace research, drone liability and hull insurance, pricing your drone services, using drones to do real estate and property marketing, ask a drone lawyer, key legal considerations for starting a drone business, aerial videography tips and training course discount. Then the last module is called getting recertified slash FAA recurrent knowledge training. It will teach you how to take your online recurrent training and renew your FAA Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate. As you can see, the UAV Coach Drone Pilot Ground School course is loaded with in-depth information, all designed to help you pass the FAA Part 107 exam. You will also gain access to some amazing bonuses that will help you after you get your drone pilot license. The thing that's nice about the UAV Coach course is that each lesson has a practice lesson that will make sure you understand what was taught. Another positive aspect of the UAV Coach Drone Pilot Ground School course training is that the lessons are video-based, but many have information you can read and download as well. The UAV Coach will definitely help you to be ready to take the FAA Part 107 exam. They even have a guarantee that says that if you do not pass your test on the first try and have scored at least 85% on one of their practice tests, your FAA test fee is on them, and they will also refund you the cost of the Drone Pilot Ground School course. There's really nothing negative we can say about this training program. It is very good. The only minor thing we feel is worth pointing out is that the cost for the UAV Coach Drone Pilot Ground School course, which is typically $299, is a bit higher than Pilot Institute. Even so, we feel this course is an amazing investment, and you have little to lose with their guarantee. You can find a link to the UAV Coach Drone Pilot Ground School course in the description below this video. If this has helped, please consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel. To learn more, visit us at dronepilotschooler.com.